Hey, this is Dan DeMott with Home Source Real Estate, coming to you today from Cross Country Mortgage in Delray Beach with one of my premier mortgage professionals, Craig Stelzer. Craig's one of the top performing mortgage lenders across the country. He's going to tell us a little bit today about how his team does business differently and a couple of updates on the mortgage market. Craig, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you, Dan. Uh, so I've been in the mortgage business for over 16 years now. Uh, headquartered here in South Florida. We are licensed nationally. Uh, we are one of the top performing groups in the country. It's been a grind, you know, for 16 years and uh, figuring things out as we go, but proudly, um, my team has continued to grow year over year. And primarily it's because we look at every bit of information up front. One of the big mistakes that mortgage people make is uh, they give out blanket pre-approvals. You know as an agent that uh, the pre-approval is just as good as the person who reviewed the information up front. And so our team continues to just get better at our process, get better at reviewing information quickly, accurately, to make sure that our real estate partners and our, our clients are successful in, in purchasing their homes. Awesome. We're here January 2020. Tell me a little bit about where is the mortgage market today? I actually am very, very excited about where the mortgage business is headed for 2020 in South Florida. Okay. And reason being, as the tax laws changed, uh, we already see a migration of people from north to south. Sure. But as they've limited the amount that people can deduct for sales tax, or for property tax rather, to $10,000, and in addition to most other states having state income tax, uh, it's just getting more and more enticing for people to move to South Florida. So we're seeing a lot more people move to South Florida, a lot of younger people moving to South Florida. And so they just recently increased the loan amount limits for conventional mortgages to $510,400 for 2020. That's huge for this market. Unbelievable for this market. So what that means really is a first time buyer can buy a house for about 525,000 or so with 3% down. That's great. Which opens it up as the floor goes up for our home prices here. Yep, absolutely. Right, And also the FHA recently announced for Palm Beach County, uh, you can finance $373,750. Puts people at about a $390,000 purchase price mm -hmm. with 3.5% down. Okay. And the FHA allows for people to go down to a 580 score wow. with 3.5% down. So between these programs, if someone's buying for less than $500,000 or less than $525,000, it's pretty easy. It's pretty liberal for, for qualification. It's pretty exciting. A lot opening up on the uh, easier to qualify as well as, as, get, as well as getting the prices up. I wouldn't say necessarily that it's easier because people still need to document everything that goes on with the loan, mm -hmm. but it's more consistent. Okay. So we're talking a bit about the process of getting through a loan approval, and that's a question I get all the time. What do I need to get started? Someone's ready to buy their mm -hmm. first house or upgrade you know, to their next family home. One of the things I love about working with you is I know if someone has worked with you and your team, when I get that pre-approval letter, that loan is going to be good. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about what does someone need to get started and how your process works getting sure. to that pre-approval. The process starts with a phone consultation. And what we're doing there is just assessing their specific needs. If you were a fly on the wall here, you would hear me say 20 times a day, qualification and affordability are mutually exclusive. Mm -hmm. okay. right? And so what we're trying to assess is what someone's budget is because I may come back to someone and say their qualification is here. They may say that's fantastic. I'm only comfortable paying here. Yeah, sure. And so I feel our process um, takes the time to understand what people are looking to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And so we'll interview someone and talk about their assets. We'll talk about their income. We'll talk about any past credit things that may have come up in the past that they're concerned about. And we'll take careful notes. We'll memorialize our phone call in an email back to the client afterwards. Uh, from there, we'll ask for specific documentation that we may need to complete our analysis. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then once we're done and we've reviewed everything, we've looked at credit, we've verified assets, we've verified how much they're comfortable spending, regardless of how much they have, and then we'll let them know the parameters for their search in a perfect situation that checks all their boxes and refer them back to the referring real estate partner to make sure that their parameters align with what's available right. in the market. In the market. Sure, yep. that makes a lot of sense.